ऋण नेपाल द्वारा तानसेन नगरपालिक पालपा को समन्वय में तथा देववाणी संस्कृत तथा साधारण मवि जनप्रिय मवि र लुम्बिनी मवि पालपा को सहकार में उत्पादित यह कार्यक्रम ग्रीन तारा नेपाल फेडो नेपाल रेड नेपाल संयुक्त रूप में संचालित स्टोन गर्स प्रोजेक्ट को एक अंश हो इसमें करुड़ा जर्मनी तथा जर्मन सरकार बीएमजेड को आर्थिक सहयोग कोविड 19 को कारण घरम रहकर बाल बालिका को पठन पाठन में सहजता लियाने उद्देश्य यो हे सीख कार्यक्रम तैयार कर You are welcome in this English class. It's me, Lalkumari Khamsa, your English teacher. Okay, and are you ready for today's class? Okay, and can you tell me what did you learn yesterday? Yes, yesterday we learned a story. What was the title of this story? Yes, good. Gulliver in Lilliput. Okay, and before continuing today's class, let's do a quick revision of yesterday's class. Who was Gulliver? Yes, he was a doctor. Yeah, he was a doctor on the ship. And what happened one day when? They were going to island at that time. Their storm started, and Antilope sank into the sea due to sea storm. Yeah, at that time, Gulliver saved his life with the help of a small boat. Okay, but it was very difficult, and he struggled a lot. And after some times. He went to the ground. Yeah, he asleep. He was asleep there. And when he woke up in the morning, he saw there are some tiny people. They are tiny men. Yeah, he found himself in one place, where in Lilliput. Okay, and Lilliput is a place where. Small, tiny people lived here, and at first they threw arrows towards Gulliver's. But later, what happened? They treated friendly to Gulliver. Yeah, and later they helped to Gulliver. Okay. And let's continue yesterday's story. Okay. And uh, to help Gulliver, little maid, little man had made one bed. Yeah, like bed, a thing like bed, which was seven centimeter high, two meters long, and one meter wide. Okay, and which was on the wheel also, and it had twenty-two small wheels. Okay, twenty-two small wheels. They used even smaller wheels to pull me on the th these things. Then more of the little men came with the thousands of their horses. Okay, little men came there, taking thousands of their horses. To pull that wheel, where Gulliver was kept, okay, and they pulled me to their city. Okay, little men took Gulliver in their city, and their city name was Lilliput. Okay, and it was a journey nearly one kilometer, a long way from. For them, it was very long way for them. One kilometer distance is also very long journey for them. But for us, it was not. It is not long journey. But for little men, it was very long distance. 
okay and we stop one night on the way yeah to travel one kilometer they stop on the middle of the way and they stopped there and they spent one night it means in one day they could not pass one meter one kilometer and i was still asleep but i was awake before the morning i think there were 500 little soldier on each side of me it means around the around gulliver there were about 100 little soldiers okay when he woke up before the morning he saw there were hundreds more than hundred soldiers around him and in the morning we started again and at the at about midday we stop at an old temple it was outside the city about 200 meters from the city walls and it was big temple but the people did not use it so they gave it to me for a house okay next day they stopped near an old temple okay which was about 200 meters far from the walls of their city and it was an old temple they did not use so they gave that temple for gulliver to live there okay and the front entrance was about a meter high okay front entrance entrance means gate front gate was about a meter high and then half a meter wide and i could just get in out workmen put chains from the entrance around my arms and legs they were safe chains very big and strong for the little men but they were like chains for our pocket watches it means around him the little men tied with the chains okay little men tied tied it off tied off gulliver with sheep chains which was very strong for them but it was very weak it was like threads for gulliver okay and um, i thought i can break these little chains but i am not going to do it just now the little people are kind i don't want to frighten them little men thought the chains were very strong but gulliver gulliver it was very easy to break okay to break these little chains but he did not break it because the he did not want to frighten them okay and little men were kind also so he did not want to frighten them okay and people came every part of the country to see him okay lots of people gathered there to see gulliver okay and but they were excited but they were not afraid a lot of them came quite close to my temple home they wanted to see the wonderful mountain man okay lots of people from different parts of the city came there to see gulliver and they went near to gulliver they were not afraid okay and they were excited to see the wonderful mountain man here they called gulliver mountain they called mountain for gulliver why why do you think they called 
mountain to Gulliver. Why? Look at the picture. Here, all the people are very tiny. Yeah, only about fifteen centimeter, and and before them or in front of them, Gulliver was very tall. Yeah, in front of them. Gulliver was very tall, like mountain. Yeah, and you know mountains are very tall, and like mountains, Gulliver was there in front of them, and it was wonderful to them. So they were excited to see Gulliver. Okay, and one day, what happened? Some workmen. came to the temple yeah some workmen workmen mean person who work okay workmen come to the temple and they made a wooden floor in front of me it means in front of gulliver they made one wooden floor okay and other men put a red cloth over it over the wooden Floor. They put some of men put red cloth and fine chairs, nine nice chairs also on the top of that. And the chairs were about three meters away from me. It means they kept chairs about three meters away from Gulliver's. And then soldiers arrived. Yeah, many soldiers arrived there. Then king and queen. two friends and two princesses also came there then all the important people okay lots of people soldiers king and queen princesses friends yeah gathered there and all the important people of the city also gathered there and the king and queen their sons and daughters sat on the chairs it mean workmen had prepared all the things for king and queen and their son and daughters okay and they sat quite still and look at me okay it means king queen their children sat on the chair and look at him okay and after a time the king talk to me after some time the king started to talk with gulliver yeah he said a lot he said a lots of things but he did not know the language yeah gulliver did not know the language i tried english german french spanish italian and latin i speak those quite well but the king did not know them and so they sat and look at me i look at them okay it means the king tried to speak with the gulib with gulliver but gulliver did not understand king and he tried many languages spanish italian english yeah but that those languages the king did not understand so they sat quietly and only they look to gullivers and gullivers also look at them okay without talking why they did why did they why did not they talking why they did not talk because they did not understand each other's language yeah and next day what happened the king sent his best teacher to teach me the language of his country the country was lilliput you know and i learned the lilliputian language quite easily and then i began to learn about about the country and the king and his important men were not sure about me the man mountain is too much some of them important men said and we must kill him yeah, no the king said he is a good man 
He is a good mountain man. He doesn't hurt anybody. And if we kill him, what can we do with the great dead body? Okay. One day, what happened? After meeting the king and queen, king sent a best teacher to teach Liputian's language. But they were not sure. But what happened? Gulliver learned the language very easily. Okay. And after learning the language, Gulliver learned a lot about the country also. And uh, one day what happened? One important man said, we must kill him because he eats a lot, they said. But king said, no, we should not kill the mountain man because he doesn't harm us. And if we kill him, what can we do with the great body? So they did not kill Gulliver. Okay, and a hundred soldier always, always stood around the temple. Okay, hundreds, many soldiers always stood around the temple to keep the people away. Yeah, and some of the people did not like that. They wanted to see the Gulliver. They wanted to go near the near Gulliver. So, soldiers had to control them. Okay? And a few of them shoot arrows at him one day. One day, some people threw arrows at Gulliver. And one of arrows nearly hit my eye. One of the arrow nearly hit on his eyes. A soldier saw these people. They put ropes around the six of them and carried to me. And I put five of them in my pocket. And I took the sixth man in my left hand. And I took my pocket knife in my right hand. And he thought I wanted to eat him. And he cried out in fear. Okay. Here. Soldier, soldier saw those people who throw arrows towards Gulliver and soldiers caught six persons. Among them, they put ropes, I mean tied with the ropes around six of them and they carried them near the near Gulliver and what did he do again? He put five of them, five of them he put in his pocket <coughs> and and sixth man he took in his hand and he took out his pocket knife and seeing that he cried in fear. Because he thought he was going to eat him. So he cried. And what do you think? Did Gulliver eat sixth man? Okay, let's see. I did not hurt. It means he did not hurt to the sixth man and other five men also. Okay. And I cut the rope. And carefully put him on the ground. Okay. After cutting the rope, he kept that sixth man on the ground. Then I cut the ropes round of other five men also. And put them down too. It means at first he cut the ropes of sixth man and he kept on the ground. And after that, he cut the rope of other five men also and he put them also on the ground it means he did not hurt to anybody 
and they were afraid to move also yeah they were afraid they stood there they were afraid uh, uh, seeing that gulliver laughed yeah he laughed very loudly okay and my laugh was great noise for the little people they became more frightened then they began to laugh too yeah the laugh slowly ran through the city with the story and the people were all my friends after that okay yeah gulliver laughed loudly and his laugh was great noise for the little men and after uh, and after that little men also began to laugh okay little men also began to laugh and slowly what happened the laugh rain to all over the city okay and the people were all my friends after that after that all the people of lilliput they became friends of gulliver okay here gulliver did not hurt to the little man and little man also did not hurt gulliver some of them threw arrows but their doctors yeah help him the their doctors help him cured him yeah and slowly they became friends okay have you understood the story okay if so let's discuss the question questions okay why was the gulliver called mountain man mountain why was the gulliver called man mountain why because he looked like a mountain in front of tiny people yeah tiny people liputians were so small only about 15 cm and in front of them gulliver looked like a mountain so he was called mountain man or man mountain okay and next question how did liputians stay gulliver to the temple how what ideas did they use to take gulliver to the temple yes they made here is spelling is wrong not the they is here they made a big bed yeah fixed wheels to eat and and then he was pulled with the help of thousands of horses okay with the help of thousands of horses they pull they pull gulliver to the temple yeah before that they made a big bed yeah on the wheel okay and next one is how did lilliputians become gulliver friends how at first they threw arrows yeah some wanted to kill him but later they became friends how how did the liputians became become gulliver's friends because gulliver did not harm them yeah gulliver did not harm them but treated them in a friendly manner so they became his friends yeah if he wanted if gulliver wanted he could kill all the liputians liputians but he did not do 
anything, any harmful things to them. They he treated them in a friendly manner. Okay, so they became his friends. Okay, what did you learn from this story? Yes, there are different kinds of people. Yeah, there are different kinds of people. Some are our enemies also. Yeah, some people think negatively for us, but we have to treat nicely them. We have to behave them nicely, friendly, and with enemies also. We have to behave friendly and after that they can be our friends okay have you understood it, the story okay and there are some questions or other exercises also in your book and write them in your homework copy and we will check later okay this was for today thank you class See you in our next class.